for m my next project, I'm sort of making an installation where I want to create sort of like a like laboratory or like um, artist's workshop where there's lots of interactive elements. And um, I think something that I think about when I make these machines is that, you know, you can have a drawing machine where the function is something, you know, that you can actually wind or, you know, it could be a remote control car that you control. And then I think this also sort of speaks to like a machine, like there is nothing that you touch here, you don't wind anything here, but you know, you sort of get the sense that these are blowing up this balloon and that they could have created these other balloons. So um, I think that's something I sort of working to towards making more of each and, and experimenting with both of those. Well, it's interesting you're taking something worthless, cast aside, and giving it the opportunity to perform and do something, even though it's just blowing up a balloon. But I think that's a way of taking two unrelated ideas and you know bringing them together, making something otherwise worthless into something yeah, that maybe of worth or maybe of interest. You know, um, my my mentor uh, Tracy Cockrell. You know, me and her were talking a lot about sort of, um, I guess, the economics of, like, dog poop. Like, when you put dog poop and you and it's already in a bag, and, like, I think the reason it's sort of... Or I was sort of trying to figure out, like, a solution. Like, how could I get people to pick up their dog poop? Like, if it was worth as much as gold, would people leave it behind? You know, that's sort of, like... You get into, like, the economics of dog poop, and um, I think that's kind of what made me think, like, well, what if it was in a... What if it was a machine or something, like, it was making balloons? And that's sort of where the ideas came for, like, the video where I'm, like, handing the balloons out to people. Um, I was sort of trying to generate, like, a response, like, yeah, we, like, we want balloons. And I was, I was sort of hoping to be able to, like, sell the balloons or, like, make the poop worth money, <laughs> like pick up the poop, it's worth money, um, and I think there's probably like, I think there's probably a failure there to like generate that response, but um, I think it it still goes back to the, you know, the humor and like getting, trying to do that and failing to do that, um, and yeah, I think that's yeah, it, it, it's both these, both these things that remind me, um, the dog poop project, and then also the drawing machines remind me of as a couple things. There's a, somewhere I can't remember where, but there's a playground somewhere that actually, when the kids play on it, like on the merry-go-round, it it's a generator and it generates electricity, and then another place somewhere, again I don't remember, some poor country the human toilets are um, capturing methane and then running the methane lines to the houses so they can use it for cooking. And, you know, so it's, it's the same type of thinking, although, you know, this is a little bit more of an absurd and, and I don't yeah. know if, it's com if you're trying to comment on this, the problem, but, you know, it's maybe yeah. just using it for your own. Well, I think there's... Um, I. I forget where I was reading it. I, you know, I think there's someone already, like, taking dog poop and disposing of it and, like, actually making some sort of, like, fuel or something out of it. Um, so I think that sort of... I think that's somewhere where, like, as an artist, I have to draw a line. Like, I, I think it would be really interesting to try to, you know, come up with it and, like, uh, an invention that did take the poop and, like, used it for something good. But I, I, there's a point, I guess, where I, um, just for myself, um, I guess I draw a line between, like, science and, and art, and I kind of, um, that's not to say that something like that couldn't work, that I couldn't make, uh, you know, this poop into, like, some sort of, uh, hey there. He lies when he's in the costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs>
Um, yeah, that's not that's not to say that. It